What's going on YouTube? Today I want to do a review of the Rainier Air 2S and what I'm going to be doing today in this video is going to be a little different than what most people have done. Uh, in there what I'm going to focus on is the difference between the Air 2S and the Rainier Air 2. Along with that I'm also going to compare it against uh, a couple of other AR glasses and you know help you guys decide which one is the better option but for the most part I'm gonna focus on the Rainier Air 2S because Rainier did send this to me for free for a review now for full, uh, for full disclosure I purchased this one by myself came out of my pocket this is the Rainier Air 2 which once again I did a review a few months ago if you haven't seen that check it out I bought it off Amazon uh, this is also another AR glasses I have a bunch of AR glasses, but I basically buy my glasses off of Amazon and whatever I don't buy, the, uh, the companies usually send it to me. But in all of my videos, my opinions are unbiased. The, none of the companies reach out to me to say anything in particular. They don't even tell me what to say. They just send me the glasses and it's up to me to make a review. Sometimes they might say, hey, we would like for you to uh, do a comparison or maybe to just talk about your experience using the glasses and how do you think your YouTube, your, your viewers would like it. That's all they tell me. They don't really tell me like, hey, talk about this, don't talk about that, none of that. But yeah, let's dive straight into the video and what's different about the glasses. Before I start, uh, before I get behind the camera, can you tell the difference between the Rainio Air 2 and the Rainio Air 2S just by looking at it on my face? Can you guess which one this is? Now let me put both of them on, on my face, which looks stupid, but you know, let me just... So, Rainier Air 2S and Rainier Air 2, both on my head. Can you tell which one is which? Well, to help you, this is the Rainier Air 2S and this is the Rainier Air 2. They look virtually identical. Uh, there's a few things that separate them. Uh, from There's a few things that separate the two, but for the most part, they look quite identical however the big difference is is how it feels and your experience so with the Rainier Air 2 S I mean with the Rainier Air 2 a few months ago when I made the video when I reviewed the video when I reviewed this glasses one of the things that I said was it has the worst audio quality of any AR device, any AR glasses I've ever used. Audio quality is um, is on the weaker side. It has the worst audio quality of all the AR glasses that I've used, and I'm not even gonna lie. It's you're better off using the earphones. I find myself keep trying to turn it up, and there is no bass to it, and you can tell the speakers are just very tiny. That opinion still stands today. It had the worst. I mean, it has the worst audio quality of any AR glasses that I've ever used. Fast forward to Air 2S. It's almost like they watched my video and decided, okay, we got to do something about this. I mean, obviously they didn't watch my video and decided that because they probably did this, you know, I don't know, maybe they got complaints or whatever. But this Radio Air 2S has one of the best sound system on any AR glasses. That's crazy, right? It went from the absolute worst to one of the best sound system. Now, when you compare it to uh, glasses like, when you compare it to other glasses like, uh, no, not this one. Okay, when you compare it to other glasses like that, the, the x Air 2, they are on par, although this is definitely louder. The Air 2S is definitely louder than the x Air 2, but loud doesn't necessarily mean better quality. 
although the quality are on par. I would say that it's not better than neither one is better, but I would I would say though I do like the fact that hey, this is a bit louder. But so that's the sound quality, and you can see from the first and the second one. You see this right here. It has a tiny speaker on the first one. Tiny speaker at the top. Look at the, the size different on the second one. It's massive. And then at the bottom, you can also see how tiny the speaker is at first compared to this right here that is bigger. So yes, that in turn made the sound quality of the Rainio Air 2S much, much better than the original one. Also, as far as comfort, this part right here on the first one was a bit hard. And on the second one, on the newer one, is, is more plush. It has like a, it's, it's very soft. It's exactly like that of the x -Real, which also has this part right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can my camera capture that? You see that? That's the x -Reels. And this is the Rainier Air 2S. So it's almost like they're using the exact same um, nose pads or you know whatever compared to the first one. So the first and second one, the, the newer one definitely has a much better audio quality and is more comfortable to wear. But besides that, everything else is vi uh, virtually identical. Oh, there's one more button on this uh, Air 2S. It has a button that allows you to toggle through different menus. I'm gonna put the uh, screen capture. Well, not screen capture. I took a picture of it to show you guys. Th uh, this button, extra button on the side right here gives you an uh, option. It gives you like a menu. Um, and I really, really love this because it doesn't matter what device you connect to. You can connect to your cell phone, your computer, whatever has a USB-C for a video output that you connect it to. When you press this button right here, you can switch from 60 hertz to 120. So not only can you switch from 60 hertz to 120, you can change your display color. This is something that I, I really wished x -Real had. I even I think I might have even told one of x -Real's rep in their, um, I think in their Reddit or something like that. I told them you need to have a uh, display color option, but they still don't have it, but Rainio has it. This display color option is incredible because if you're someone like me who likes to edit video on my laptop uh, uh, while I'm on the go, sometimes I need to change their colors to make sure that I'm, I'm seeing, what I'm seeing is reflective or if it is reflective of what is truly happening on my video. Does that make sense? Like I want my colors to be accurate and me being able to change that color tone really, really helps. Also, when you're laying in bed at nighttime, it, when, when your room is dark, you can actually make it, you can change it to a, a, a darker tone or something just a bit more warm. That way you're not getting this, you know, high fatigue or you're not getting much of a blue light in your now both of them are rated for blue lights uh x reels rocket and all that stuff but there's a certain level of blue light that passes through with this color option it allows you to reduce that blue light so i really love that and one other thing that they have with that menu is something called whisper mode so when you're listening to music or videos or something like that on the glasses themselves there, you can get them to uh, to be much louder than you would want, like to the point where someone else next to you can really fully hear exactly what's going on. Like they can hear, ex like if you're listening to music or mo uh, movie, they can hear exactly what the person is saying, like word for word. But if you put it on whisper mode, it's almost like it changes from, you know, talking out loud to talking out loud. You know, that's basically what whisper mode is. It basically tones down the sound of the system to where you can still hear it, but it's just not as uh, aggressive, you know. Um, it, it sounds it sounds good, you know, for, for nighttime when you're by yourself. I mean, when you're with a partner or with somebody and, or you're in public place and you just like a plane and you don't want to disturb the person next to you, you can just put on um, uh, whisper mode. 
So while I was editing this video, I realized that I forgot to talk about this Joy Doc thing that Rainio sent to me. It's basically an external battery that goes on the back of your Nintendo Switch if you have a Nintendo that allows you to uh, use your glasses with your Nintendo as well as charge your Nintendo at the same time. So basically, this attachment right here, which can easily be removed, if I like this, it basically goes on the back, and then this part right here clips onto your Nintendo, just like this right here. This part right here is where your Nintendo connects via this cable that is included. You connect it right here, and you connect it to your Nintendo. You connect your glasses to this port right here, and now this port is for Let's say this was dying and you wanted to charge this as well as charge your Nintendo at the same time, you can connect an external charger to this. Otherwise, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery which should power your Nintendo and charger at the same time. But if you want to charge all of them at the same time, just use this port right here. So, yeah, that is it for this uh, Joy Dock right here. I also made a video about the uh, Rainios pocket tv it's a pocket tv which i bought off amazon a while back so you can check my channel out for a video on that and i actually compared it to the x reels beam so yeah check out the playlist for more ar content device now back to the video but for the most part this is going to be very very similar to my previous review of the air 2 because the, the body is almost identical um but just in case you guys didn't watch that first one, another difference between a company like the x Real is that, so with the radio, right, you have this thing right here, this guard, and then you have your lens. I mean, you have your, you know, whatever it is that you, this call that you look through. This part right here is not removable. So it's, it's, just, it's just stuck on it. With the x Real, it is optional. You can remove this part right here, which allows you to see through this glasses just a little bit better. The part, the, the benefits to this is that this is really, really dark. So when you add this to, right, you can be almost completely immersed. Obviously, lights is still gonna seep through on the side, but because it's removed, because it's, uh, it's very dark, you can be very immersed in it. And if you want a situation where you need to be able to see through, you just remove this and you can see through. With Rainios, there is you don't have that option to remove it. It's not very dark to the point where you can't see through at all. You can. You can see through a little bit, but it's also not dark enough to the point where if you are out there during the daytime, this just is just not dark enough. Now to give credit to Rainio, the brightness on this thing is actually a bit better than the x -Reels. This is at 600 nits, whereas the x is at 500 nits. Now, 100 nits doesn't sound much until you really need it, which is usually typically outdoors. But, but then again, with the x you can use the cover, whereas with this, you can't use the cover. So if you're in a situation where I mean, this is gonna come down to you know basically your preference, what you like to do with your glasses. Both are exceptional device. Um, I would say though, I am very very impressed by the sound quality of this. Very very impressed. I think that where these glasses really differ is your user experience. Just because Rainio sent me these glasses doesn't mean I'm not gonna keep it honest. And I'm gonna t I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The mobile experience with Rainio is just not great. In my experience, it's just it's it's just not very great. You know, the app is. I don't know if you, if you watch my previous video, it's the same app. The experience is gonna be the same thing. So you can get my opinion over there. Where this really shines is on the mobile is on the um, PC side, whereas with the extra, your mobile experience is much much better, but your PC experience is not so great because. It's, it requires a PC with a lot of power. So I made, a, I made a, a few months ago, I made a video on 
Rainier's PC, how to be productive or how you can use your PC software. I'm going to overlay some of the screen capture that I got from today just, you know, playing around. If you want to get an idea of what the Rainier's PC software is, check out the video uh, to the top of the screen after this, you know, that way you can see how the PC app is, how you can actually use it to your advantage and stuff like that. So once again, it's going to come down to what you want, right? Which is, which is the better glasses for you? Rokid, Rainio, Xreal, Vitu, or I think that's, that's all there is. It's going to come down to what you like to do and why you want to do it. If you have a specific need and you're still not sure what kind of glasses to go for, put it in the comment section. I'll try and help you out on exactly which one you should go for based on what you need. Uh, for me personally, when I'm not on my computer, I'm always going to use the x -Real. For now, I'm going to use the x when I'm not on my computer. But every single time I'm on my computer, I am going to use the Rainio because the Rainio, I just like the Rainio's PC software better. For me, even though the x PC software works on my computer because my, my computer is powerful enough to, do, to, to make it work, it's just that Xreal's Nebula for Windows drains so much of my battery so when I'm not connected to a power source, I can't use the app because it just drains so much of the power. Whereas the Rainier's PC software, it drains power but it's, it's manageable. So, once again, every time I'm on a PC, I'm using Rainier. When I'm not on a PC, I am using the Xreal's. And the only reason why I'm using the Xreal's is because of the Xreal being Pro. That device is just, every other company has to make their version. Like, every other company has to make their version. If they don't make their version, x is just going to take over. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, I truly appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section. I will try and get to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.